Good morning, everybody. It's me, Mitch. It is Thursday, September 26th. It's almost 7.30 a.m. Welcome. Welcome to Morning Coffee with Mitch. Drink it if you got it. I think today is going to shape up to be one of those pivotal days in a lot of people's lives. This is the day when Hurricane Helene is forecasted to hit Tallahassee, Florida. And if you can overcome the urge to just assume that all of these weather forecasters over-dramatize, over-hype the potential, the potential crisis or problem that's coming for the sake of getting views. And I mean, we've seen that all our lives. If you can overcome your certainty that they always say it's going to be worse than it actually is and take it seriously, most of the time you probably go back afterwards and say, I got sucked in again. I got sucked in again. They're, they've overhyped it, overdramatized it, claim it was Better to err on the safe side. But in reality, they were just trying to get views on their newscast and their weather forecast, views on their YouTube videos, so they could make more ad revenue and everything else. And yeah, that's true. That's true. And it makes us here complacent especially if we've lived in florida for a long time we get complacent you ask the average floridian about how he reacted to a hurricane he'll tell you well when i was down here my first hurricane i i got in my car and i and i drove to alaska just so i was sure that i wouldn't get uh, wouldn't get hit by it well, what about now well i've been here for 30 years now these hurricanes are nothing. They're nothing. I just, you know, I just stay here in my little trailer right next to the water and I'm not worried. And then the next hurricane comes along. Not only does it take his trailer, toss it up into the air like Dorothy in the Wizard of Oz kills him. And yet so many have that attitude, and I suppose I do too. I've been through some pretty pretty bad storms, but nothing nothing catastrophic yet. Nothing. We had a tornado through here that tore up my roof, and I had to have that replaced. But uh, and I've seen over the years, like Hurricane Matthew a number of years ago, it actually tore the roof off of some of the homes in here. But not my house. My house has been here since 1990. That's 35 years almost. And uh, so far it hasn't blown away. And then a storm like Helene comes along. What amazes me is they have been predicting this. Their computer models are getting so good. They've been predicting this for weeks before it was even a sprinkle somewhere out there off the coast of Africa. They were they already knew it was going to become a big hurricane. And they've called it pretty well right, pretty well right. And it is ramping up to be devastating. And the path that it's taking not only has the potential to devastate the whole west coast of Florida with storm surge, but the winds are going to be enormous and it's going to keep going. And there are people 
up in Tennessee that are going to have devastating flooding according to their forecasts. Now, then again, we have to say, and I have to say, because I'm on the east coast of Florida, it's Thursday morning now. The storm is going to hit later today. It's already west of South Florida. My weather forecast predicted scattered showers for today. <laughs> when I listen to the to the weather forecast on TV, you'd think they're telling me to to brace. They're telling me the winds are going to, the peak gusts are going to be hurricane gusts. Maybe. I'm going to be a, two, three hundred miles from the center of that storm. Now, I prepared yesterday, made that video yesterday afternoon. I prepared for this. And it could happen. And I realistically think that, yeah, we're going to get a lot of rain. We're going to get some wind. But, and yeah, our power may go out. If we get some lightning strikes, but that can happen in a, in a summer thunderstorm. But there is a chance that a tornado gets spawned. I mean, there's always a chance of that. So I'm taking it seriously. And I'm taking it seriously and I'm ready. I don't regret being ready. I would much rather... I'd much rather live according to the adage of anticipate the worst, hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. I don't think that when the worst doesn't happen, I don't think that allowing yourself to be disappointed and in retrospect say, I don't know why I prepared for that. Because the one time you don't prepare, according to the rules of cosmic karma, the one time you don't prepare is the one time that you'll get the crap kicked out of you. That's true in everything in life. That's true in business, especially true especially true in, in health. So it's going to be an interesting day. I'm sure I'm going to have some interesting weather and I'll, I'll film it and we'll talk about, about that. I think the odds are pretty good that I'm not going to have any uh, water outages or any lengthy power outages or anything like that or structural damage. One never knows because there's always always the possibility of these tornadoes spinning up in these feeder bands. And that's what we're going to be getting from this, uh, from this storm. We're not going to be getting too much of the winds, 30, 40 mile an hour steady winds, maybe from the actual circulation around the storm. But those feeder bands of thunderstorms that go across and are generally riddled with lightning and tornado and tornado watches, those are the things that are going to keep keep me on my feet, keep me paying attention most of the day. I don't know, and I won't know until later, whether I'll be able to pull off my private community live stream tonight or whether it's going to be too howling and too noisy and too much thunder and too many intermittent power failures for me to even risk being plugged into the internet for fear of having everything in my house damaged by a lightning strike somewhere. But we'll see, and my tentative plans are simple. If I have to postpone my private community live stream from tonight, we'll do it tomorrow night at seven o'clock. I'll let everybody know, I'll post uh, a notice in the community tab and I'll post the live stream if I've made that decision. And you'll see that it's for Friday night, not Thursday. So I'm gonna just sit here. It's peaceful here now. 
It's not windy. It's like most other mornings, but you can feel that there's something in the air. Keep an eye on this today. Try not to be too concerned about it. Whatever's going to happen will happen. And for those of you, and that's a lot of you, there's a lot of you, for those of you that are going to be more directly affected by this, that have had to evacuate, that are nervous, my thoughts, my thoughts and hopes for a good positive outcome are with you, are with you, as I'm sure, and I know, based on some of the comments I've gotten, your thoughts from all over the world have been wonderful and are with me. So, I finish my coffee here. Relax. Turn on the TV. Get the latest update on this storm. Try to temper my fear based on the knowledge that they overhype everything. The headlines are terrific. Go on YouTube one after another. Storm, 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 killer storm, biggest storm in history, devastating storm, end of the world storm. They, 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 they just can't, just can't help themselves. And let's just hope that it's a big storm, no bigger than other storms we've had over the history of our lives. And yeah, it's going to be devastating and we'll recover from it and wait for the next one. So good luck, my friends, and take the rest of the day off. Be careful and eat meat.